Hello everybody, I'm back. Today I've got a great new, powerful, empowering tutorial for you. It's all about learning how to enjoy the present moment. We all want to be in the right place, at the right time, with the right person, and have a wonderful experience. Today, the padding pair model will help you to achieve that more and more in the future. So, what is the padding pair model all about? Well, it's about encouraging people to have healthy interactions together. Right. The padding pair model is very simple. It's a four steps um, process, thinking process. Right. It requires both parties, right, because it's a pair here, the padding pair. So it requires both parties to work closely together, either consciously or unconsciously, right, to go through each step of the process. So it's very simple. Step number one, both parties will focus on their mutual strengths and skills. Step number two, both parties will block out any external factors that are not necessary for their, for their interaction in the present, right? Step number three, they will zoom in onto their close interaction to check that there are no immediate potential risks I can threaten their, their peacefulness together or their interaction or their enjoyment of each other. Yeah? And the model clearly says that if you follow this train of thought and go from step one to step two to step three, you are more likely to have a greater experience while spending time together. The padding pair model originates from a true story and the story is the story of a paddler inviting a walker to join them on their boat to become the co-paddler and this is the story i would like to uh, tell you about right now are you ready let's go so here we go There's a walker taking a stroll down the river and relaxing themselves, their body and their mind. On the water, on the river Thames, there is a paddler enjoying a very relaxing boat ride on a Sunday afternoon. The walker waves at the paddler and says, Hey, how are you doing today? Do you mind if I join you? The paddler says yes. And this is how the paddling pair model was born. What happens next? Well, the model is a four step model. Step number one, they get to know one another, they break the ice, they have a bit of a banter, but very quickly they try consciously or unconsciously to find out about the mutual strengths. So paddler number one, obviously he's an expert in paddling. He's also got a great amount of experience riding a boat on the river Thames. So that's already a great strength to bring on board. <laughs> paddler number two, right, is younger, is fitter, is confident, is a great problem solver. And these are the things, the qualities and the skills that both of them find out about each other while chatting to one another. At this stage, it's very important to know what the other person is good at because for safety reason, you know, one would want to know if the other can actually save them in case of an emergency, right? Makes sense, okay? Remember, we are on the water. All right, so that's step one, very straightforward. Step two, I think that's 
Um, that's important to mention that when you're on the water, having an interaction with a person and wanting to have, remember, a lovely experience and a lovely time away from um, the madness of the city, it's very important to block out any external factors. And this could be your personal problems, because remember, it's Sunday afternoon, both are here to have a peaceful, lovely time, right? You want to block out current affairs, anything to do with um, raising your anxiety or stress level. Push it away just for that particular moment because your goal, your objective is to have a wonderful, peaceful moment with yourself but also with the other person you're sharing that present moment with. Step number three. Well, once you have established each other's strengths, once you've blocked out all the negativity of the world and your world and focus on the present moment, you also want to zoom in even closer, right, on the potential threats or risks that could actually jeopardize your, your safety, right, or your enjoyment. So in this case, it could be uh, the weather, it could be the darkness, it could be getting dark and you're stuck on the water, it could be the boat sinking, it could be one of the paddles breaking, it could be a um, medical emergency, it could be um, some, someone's mobile phones not having any battery to call uh, the, the, the coast guards in case of an emergency. So you want to really zoom in and assess all the risks so that you can either be preventing the, those risks or be prepared to tackle any situation that may occur and put your safety at risk. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. And then last one, step number four. Right, well, if you follow the process carefully, right, if you apply step one and step two and step three, this means that this team here, right, this pair, the padding pair is a team, right, is putting everything in place to have a wonderful time together. Yeah. Because they feel safe. Remember, step one, two, and three are paramount to instill a sense of safety within you. Right? If you feel safe, you will have trust in one another and therefore you can start enjoying one another and enjoy the overall ex experience. Right? And only then, in step four, you can start talking about things like your projects, your dreams, your aspirations, because you've covered everything else. Everything else has been thought through and thought about to make sure that you are in a safe space on the water and therefore can only enjoy yourself and have a good time. And this is basically what the paddling pair is all about. It requires a little bit of work, it requires a little bit of teamwork, but in the end, it will give you those four things here. A healthy interaction with someone, safe space to have this interaction in, give you a pleasant time, and will give you a positive mindset. Right? So, why don't you try it? And let me know how you get on. I think it's a very good model. It's very simple, it's very easy to apply and to practice. 
And what I think is amazing about it is if you follow this template, right, in the present and apply this model to any present situations when you are interacting with one person, right, and that person can be a complete stranger, it can be a family member, it could be a friend, it could be an acquaintance, it could be a partner or a lover, right, it could be anyone. If you do that and create magic and create a powerful moment with that person to remember for the rest of your life, this means that you can actually reminisce about it forever from now onwards. Isn't that wonderful? It gives you a mini chance to have a better, a better life because you have memories to reminisce about that have been filled with positivity. All right, that's all for me today. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye. <laughs>